predicting who will win the WWE UK Championship. Number 16, Amir Jordan. Heading into the tournament, the West Yorkshire born wrestler is probably the least known name in the entire thing. But that doesn't mean that Amir Jordan does not belong, as he is a very talented to say he's fairly new into the business. However, with that said, WWE will be hoping to have the biggest names possible in the second round of the tournament, taking place on the WWE Network. And the fact Jordan's competing against one of the tournament favorites in the first means he's very unlikely to progress. Number 15, Tucker. Tucker is a talent who was involved in the first UK Championship tournament, and in that he was someone who seemed to be there to make up the numbers, eliminated in the first round without making much of a stir. This time around, it seems like history might be set to repeat itself with Tucker taking on the Iron Man, Joe Cafe, in the first round, who is someone who has an awful lot of hype surrounding him, which could lead to an early elimination. Number 14, Tyson T-Bone. Just like Tucker, Tyson T-Bone was part of the first WWE UK Championship, but wasn't one of the names that WWE decided to use much afterwards, with T-Bone not appearing on NXT or even 205 Live over the past year. However, he's an experienced talent who has plenty of ability, which is why the company wants to use him again. T-Bone's also one of the only UK wrestlers to have a little backstory developed into him, which also helps. But with the way the bracket has worked out, it seems like a first round exit is in his future. Number 13, James Drake. James Drake is someone who has a lot of talent, but is yet to get much limelight in WWE to display his personality. Drake is a tag team partner of Zach Gibson for Progress Wrestling, and with the way the bracket lines up, there is a chance for a semi-final showdown between them if WWE is the way inclined, but that is unlikely. Drake has been given chances to perform on 205 Live, so the company clearly understands that he has the ability and potential, so it would be interesting to see him pull out a surprise and get the win. But a first round exit is more likely. Number 12, Ashton Smith. Unlike the past few names, Ashton Smith is a new entrant to the WWE UK division, but he isn't one of the bigger names that is coming into the tournament, such as Travis Banks, who has become a top star for some of the UK's biggest companies. Smith is a very talented wrestler though, and his first round match against Joseph Connors could be a show stealer at the Download Festival, and is quite difficult to predict. But because WWE has promoted and pushed Connors on 205 Live and in the UK tournament, Smith might just be here to make up the numbers. Number 11, Kenny Williams. Kenny Williams might be one of the newer additions to the WWE UK division and is someone who was actually given a chance to shine on 205 Live when WWE was last in the UK. But the high flying wrestler comes up against Big Dave Mastiff in the first round what really is a battle of David was a Goliath. If WWE really wants to push Williams, then having him conquer the Massive Mastiff would be a huge deal. But considering the fact WWE UK division is already littered with talent like Williams, with Mark Andrews already nailing that position down, having Mastiff run through him makes more sense as he offers something totally different. Number 10, Ligero. It is a shame to have to rank Ligero as low as this because he's easily the hardest work in the tournament, being known for working more matches in a year than anyone else in the UK, often putting on several shows in one day. In the ring, Ligero is a fantastic wrestler and has years worth of experience to really make an impact on the grand stage. The issue for him is that he comes across one of the tournament's biggest names in the first round and that means he might just miss out on being pushed further in the tournament. Number 9, Drew Gulak. Drew Gulak's entry into the WWE UK Championship was quite a surprise, considering his American nationality. But WWE has put the title on the line against non-UK athletes, and he's one of the top stars on 205 Live, so it is good to have someone as talented as him involved. Gulak is someone who could go deep into the tournament, but with him taking on Jack Gallagher, who is a top UK athlete who is already pushing WWE, it is likely the company would want to give him the push instead. Number 8, Jordan Devlin. Jordan Devlin is a very talented wrestler, and it was surprising not to see him go further into the tournament last year, especially with his links to Finn Balor, the man who trained him in professional wrestling. But this time could be a different story. Devlin is certainly a wrestler to keep an eye on this year, as WWE may want to give him a big push this time, when names like Tyler Bate are not involved. But he's likely to fall behind other newer wrestlers, giving him more time to keep developing his trade. Number 7, Joseph Connors. Joseph Connors is a vicious wrestler who deserves all the opportunities he has coming his way, as he's a very effective heel and someone that WWE has kept working with since the first tournament, whether on 205 Live or at live events. 
Connors is probably not going to go on and win the tournament as there are bigger names that the UK fans themselves are more interested in but he certainly shouldn't be someone you sleep on either. Number 6. Jack Gallagher Jack Gallagher is set to get a huge reception from the UK fans when he returns home for this tournament. Regardless of the fact he is a heel, Gallagher is an amazing wrestler and seeing him in this tournament provides tons of potentially exciting matches on a bigger scale than when he last got to do them on the UK independent scene. Gallagher is already established with WWE fans so seeing him go far in the tournament would make sense. But WWE really should be using this time to push newer talent and having someone defeat Gallagher would give them a big rub. Number 5. Dave Mastiff Picking who will go further into the tournament between the big bruiser, Dave Mastiff, and the man he is likely to face in the second round, Joe Coffey is very difficult as both men are tremendous wrestlers and offer a different style to what the original tournament did. Mastiff has years worth of experience and seeing him in the later rounds could make for an interesting storyline with his size being able to beat down any opponent. But Joe is seen as a bigger name in the UK and seeing him reach at least the semi-finals would be the right choice. Number 4. Joe Coffey The Iron Man Joe Coffey is certainly someone who could go all the way in the UK Championship this time around. He has managed to build himself up in the ICW, a company who works alongside WWE to become one of the biggest names around and this is a chance to stand out on the biggest stage. Joe has a hard-hitting in-ring style which packs a punch and is full of power moves that should make him tough competition for anyone who steps in his way and hopefully Dota is prepared to give him the push he deserves. Number 3. Flash Morgan Webster Flash Morgan Webster is a wrestler Dota has had its eye on for many years. This year he gets to compete for the company. Webster was involved in a Cruiserweight Classic qualification match against Zack Zaber Jr. where he received injuries and those injuries meant he lost out on being able to perform in last year's tournament. Because he has that backstory, it is clear Dota has something to play off and talk about about, and the company has already begun doing that with his video packages. Webster is a great wrestler and someone who has worked incredibly hard to earn this shot and could easily be a dark horse to win the entire thing. Number 2. Travis Banks Heading into the tournament, Travis Banks is possibly the biggest name involved as the current Progress Wrestling Champion. He has become one of the top names in British wrestling and that is why he's a favorite to win the entire thing. His hard hitting style is likely going to go down well with WWE fans but the fact he isn't actually British, hailing from New Zealand could stop WWE from pushing him to be the eventual winner but you can expect Banks to go far as he is incredibly talented. Number 1. Zach Gibson Heading into the tournament, Liverpool's number 1 is certainly one of the favorites to win the entire thing and looking at the way the bracket pans out, seeing him in the final is certainly possible. Gibson has already signed a contract with WWE unlike many of the people in the tournament which means he is someone who will likely stick around after the tournament which will certainly help his chances of doing well. Gibson has a distinct character character and is not only solid in the ring but talented on the microphone which would make him fit well in NXT. Pete Dunn has established himself as a babyface at the moment in NXT so when it comes to defending his title against the winner, a top heel would make the most sense and Gibson fits that bill.